Good morning everyone, I'm Martin Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. We're in Gulfport, Mississippi. And I am headed to, I believe either UPS or Tesla to pick up, I probably, probably Tesla to pick up a uh, thing of cars. Now the ETA is saying it's gonna take, it's 53 miles, an hour and 17 minutes. But if you look at it, our destination is right there on the right side of the screen. You can see how it kind of, it wants us to go on the freeway and then do a U-turn at the next exit and then come back and drive down this road. We can just, I, I don't know why it's telling us to do that. I don't know if they're, what the problem is, but we'll keep the GPS on just so you can see how wonky it is for this job. 53 miles an hour and 17 minutes. I'm glad I checked that before uh, following the GPS blindly. Alright, I don't know why the GPS wants us to go all the way on the freeway and then come back and then take a left turn in here. We can just turn right, right here, and we'll have no problem. Hey, look at that GPS. We just skipped about an hour's worth of the drive. Alright, that helicopter's getting really annoying. Now, I think it's pointing us at UPS, but I think it's going to be in here at Tesla. Let's, let's give it a try. It might be over there at UPS for some reason. But we'll check what Tesla's got. All right, Tesla doesn't have the job I want. Well, actually. Actually, let's take this job right here. Let's take the machine parts, 18,000 pounds to San Antonio. I was gonna take cars all the way over to Alamogordo, but this one will give us a job that we should be able to complete within this episode are pretty close to it. I think I have advanced trailer coupling activated, so I will have to line this up pretty closely to get it in. Okay, let's get the cables and the and the legs all raised. There we go. Still driving the T680. Over 15,000 miles on it now. We're we headed toward San Antonio. I think we'll be taking the 10. Took the 10 over from. Uh, should I have gone the other way? Yes, I should have. Oh, we're going to be able to clear it. Very good. All right. Oh, man. Pretty tight back here. So, actually, I think this is a quick turnaround for episodes. Last episode, I believe, was either Sunday or it might have even been yesterday. But I don't think we got to Gulfport in the last episode. Not sure. Can't recall. Can't remember. So it's been maybe a day. Took a job down. I think the last one we did was Wilmington. So I got all the way back over over the last couple days. Back down to Gulfport. And now we're going to go head back into Texas. 
cruising through some coast to coast here and discovering more of the I-10. Yeah, GPS is still looking pretty funky. Look at that. Wants us to turn left and then do it. Yeah, I don't know. GPS is kind of wonky here in Gulfport. Must be a pathing issue somewhere. Where the GPS thinks the road doesn't actually exist. Now we got an IHOP. IHOP billboard right there. Not an IHOB. With that B for burgers we just discovered today. First I saw that, I saw that people were talking about, oh, IHOP is now the International House of Burgers. I'm like, really? Really? I know Wendy's got a sick burn on Twitter about that. And it's like, really? Why would you switch from doing breakfast and being that to just being another burger joint? But I guess it's just a little promotional thing, get people interested in that they have more than just pancakes and breakfast, but they also have burgers, including... A big giant brunch burger. I was gonna say that guy didn't even bother stopping, but he didn't have a red light. Yeah. All right, there we go. We got the green now. About a 600 mile job. Our starting a little later. I think we. I think I finished the last delivery early this morning coming into Gulfport, so. Might not be able to get this job completely done today. We have 11 hours. 11 and a half hours. And if we make good time, we should be able to get this thing delivered. New Orleans, 70 miles. Then Baton Rouge, 118. Been playing Euro Truck Simulator a little bit lately. Trying to get more involved in there, get some of those more of those rows discovered. So probably the last episode or last uh, video posted to my YouTube channel will have been in Euro Truck Simulator, driving up through the Alps, through Austria and Switzerland, to Germany and Dresden. Such a different feel to the truck and the speed and there you go, NASA, John C. Sten Stennis Space Center. I've never heard of the John C. Stennis Space Center. You got the Johnson Space Center down in Houston and then what's down in Florida? Or yeah, Johnson would be in Houston. Johnson being from Texas and all. But definitely this truck is a lot louder a lot more oomph to it than any of the trucks in Euro Truck Simulator. But those trucks in Euro Truck Simulator, they kinda, they gotta get up and go. But typically, I'm only able to go about 80, 85 kilometers per hour. And right now, 60, 65 miles per hour is about, almost 100 kilometers per hour. Between 90 and 100 kilometers per hour, so definitely drive and cover distance much more slowly in Euro Truck Simulator. But it definitely is very green and a very different feel. Especially with Pro Mods. You know, here we're kind of comparing Pro Mods and Coast to Coast and today it's going to be a little, little empty out here as we drive through probably some sparsely populated Coast to Coast area. I can understand why Coast to Coast is going gung-ho on developing the Texas, Colorado area, Kansas area that we have all those roads because it is right next to where you're going to be driving in the main vanilla map, New Mexico and Arizona. The only drawback to that 
and granted this is probably far out in the future, is that the next states that are going to come in after Oregon, what are they going to be? Possibly Washington. I think highly likely the next one you go to is Utah. And they haven't done a ton of work in Utah, so coast to coast is good there. And and who knows how long it'll be before Utah comes out. So, But you're going to put all that work into like western Texas and Colorado and Kansas... And then probably, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I have a great feeling that like that third, or at least the fourth TLC pack down the road is going to be Colorado. And at some point you're going to get Texas. But it might be a calculated risk by Coast to Coast to do Texas, because it's going to be so long before that releases. But it's going to be a lot of work that you put into it in Coast to Coast, and then gets overdone by SCS. So out here in southern Mississippi into Louisiana, we're in, actually in Louisiana now, not too much in terms of shrubbery, trees, signs, or anything. I don't even know what interchange this is. But I had some free time. I had the house to myself. can record, so I want to get down some footage of American Truck Simulator and probably we'll make the next episode of Euro Truck Simulator as well and I know I promised in that one that the next episode would be buying a truck but with the short turnaround since the last time I was able to record it might just be another travel video doing a quick job over there Now we're on the 10. I don't know what, what uh, interstate we were on. Obviously in the bottom right corner I will have that graphic up to let you know where we are. In terms of real life roads, sometimes uh, your, uh, American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator too, the roads aren't 100% accurate in game, but I've noticed very much with uh, Coast to Coast they've been pretty accurate with signage and stuff, where there is signage right now, not a lot out here in southern Louisiana. But it is what it is. I do believe, I think, well we have driven on this road before, or I have, and so we will cross the Mississippi actually. I think we'll actually cross, well I don't think we go across Lake Pontchartrain on the 10. But uh, we do go across the Mississippi, and there is a nice bridge. That's one thing they I don't think they have around Memphis yet. When we cross from Arkansas to Memphis, they don't have that bridge over the Mississippi, which is a little jarring that there's just nothing there. It's just grass. And suddenly you're now in Tennessee. It's like, well, where's the Mississippi? But uh, the, the 10 I know crosses the Mississippi. There's been a couple other where I've crossed some major bridges. 
to get to our destination. We're really piling up the miles on this truck already nearly to 16,000 miles will be to 16,000 after this job and that's a uh, have done about two or three weeks of driving just a lot of driving America truck simulator been having fun with it been doing a lot of the coast to coast just to see what's done and how detailed some places are you know one reason I got a little discouraged with coast to coast was because this is what a lot of it looks like it's just kind of this meandering through a little bit of slope on both sides which is either green or browns but Texas and the deep south up until this point have been pretty pretty well populated waiting for the deep south hopefully uh, Alabama and Mississippi and uh, Georgia Florida to add in more of those principal highways like western Texas and they're working through Kansas and stuff so more and more good things coming from those guys at Coast to Coast. They do a lot of great work. Again, not to the not to the same level as Pro Mods over with Euro Truck Simulator, but if you are interested in giving yourself a few more places to go in American Truck Simulator, and if that's just only to go over into Western Texas and a little bit into Colorado, and just to give yourself a little bit of variety, those areas are excellent. They, it's still a little empty in places. But it just gives you a few more options, a few more jobs here and there. Especially if you want to do a really, really long haul. And you don't mind just driving through a bunch of nothingness like this. You can get some nice long hauls. You can go cross country. I think we had one earlier on in this channel, or this, uh, this series, I had a job. And I never got videos of it. I think I canceled that just because I believe I started the, the, the series. Of videos and that was back when I was doing every day in American Truck Simulator and I think I got to day one we went from like San Francisco to Arizona on the first leg of like a three or four day journey all the way to Baltimore but by the time I started doing the next leg by the time I got that I was about to you know c continue doing the videos recording they had put out an update a slight update which had rendered coast to coast out of date or whatever and I had to reset and then reparked my truck and so I went back to it earlier save to get that day back so I wouldn't lose money and all that so I never did that uh, massive cross-country one yet at least on in video form Starting to feel slightly better. I know a couple of weeks ago, you know, there's been a few videos where I've been having to cut out the coughing and stuff. My throat's been pretty, uh, I don't know, just it, there's irritation. It's not, you know, and I've kind of got you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of a summer cold, I think, or something, but I seem to be getting over that. But now, just feeling very drained on energy. Weather's weather's going back and forth here here in uh, China where I live. It's been a very cool summer. You know, it'll be, it'll be very cold and rainy and miserable out. Then the next day it'll be really hot and maybe dry or humid. It's just it's all over the place right now. Yesterday was yesterday was a beautiful day. It was nice and sunny. But I just felt like I just felt terrible. I just I, my knees were really hurting. I don't know if that was from um, English class teaching the little kids. We were doing learning numbers, and so we did. We have a numbers song with the Genki English that I use, and yeah, we're, you know, just counting the numbers, or we were reviewing at least in this class. I think the the day before we had actually it was a new lesson for another class. But the song is basically just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like five or six times. And to make it interesting, get the, I get them up and count on our fingers. Then we do some... I think we did 
Well, on Saturday we did squats for the last part of it, but the song keeps getting faster. So those squats were painful because you were going so, so fast, and so we reversed it yesterday. But did you know counting on your fingers? Then we did squats. So you're doing 12 squats as you're counting. Then we did uh, 12 kicks, and then we did 12 uh, kind of punches, air punches, and then did jumping on one leg, and then we just did jumping on two legs normal. And pretty active, the kids were all tired, I was tired. Good workout, but definitely should have stretched and definitely wasn't uh, easy on the knees. Now we're getting into Texas. And we'll see if anything is done down here. I, I think it's pretty well, pretty barren down here, so. Hopefully you enjoy listening to my uh, voice talk about what's going on in my life ah I like how I went three wide and just I'm the one stuck in the middle not being able to move and now you move over huh. yeah I guess he couldn't move over before he would have slammed into that truck can't remember if I have a traffic mod on I'm always forgetting what things I have on or not but definitely that Euro truck simulator mod that I got running that thing it backs up the traffic a lot sometimes especially since the trucks are going 20 30 kilometers slower than everyone else but yeah yesterday was a yesterday was a really nice day in fact, it was actually Monday yesterday, and today is actually Tuesday for me. So here we are driving Tuesday afternoon. But the knees, the knees really hurt yesterday. I wanted, I was really feeling like I should get out on the bike, and I really need to do, I really need to make that a habit. You know, kind of got away from that last year as I got into making videos. I haven't gotten into it yet this year too much, done a few rides, but I think it'll really help because I'm feeling, you know, really drained on energy, and I'm sure that's just sitting around all day and playing video games that get out there, ride the bike for an hour, really uh, invigorate. But it's been hard because it's been, you know, one day it'll be pouring rain, the next day it'll be sticky and humid and wet but very sunny and just ugh. then the next day it'll pour again and then yesterday was nice and now today it's already it's again cloudy and humid it looks like at any moment it's going to just start pouring so and those are all excuses obviously it's like i could go out and handle a rainstorm though it's not the best idea to go bike riding in a when it's raining, especially in China, where, <laughs> you know, at least in the town I live in, the drivers are a little, they seem to get a little bit more aggressive and drive basically the opposite of what you should be doing when it rains, which is slowing down a little bit. They actually speed up more. They go faster. They're more liable to just blow through those red lights and stuff. So, you know, and jump into the emergency lane you know, in fact, I mean, the road in front of my apartment basically looks like this road right here, minus the left lane. So two lanes, and then you have an emergency lane. The emergency lane is actually pretty big. It's almost this. It's almost this road right here, but move the white line over, take away that right lane, actually. And that's what the road looks like. You have this just massive emergency lane, which is really big for that. I don't know why. But they don't have sidewalks on it, obviously, at this point, and I hope they do. I hope they take a little bit of that. They don't need to go into people's yards or into the t property or anything. Just rip up a little bit of the road and make that a sidewalk. Because right now, people walk in that big, expansive area on the right hand of the road, as well as e-bikes, bikes, three-wheeled carts, or wh what have you. And then, on top of that, the road's a 90-kilometer-per-hour road, so, I mean, we're... I can't even drive that fast in your own truck simulator. And there's stoplights every, you know, half a mile or whatever. And if you're not going fast enough, if someone decides, hey, I want to go faster than everyone, because sometimes 
you know, the, the speed of traffic, sometimes it's only 60. It's only safe to go 60. I think it's only safe to go 60 most of the time anyway in this area. You'll get big semi-trucks, buses, taxis, whatnot, everyone just cruising down that right lane, passing you in the emergency lane, rolling up on bikes and e-bikes and people and honking and then slamming their way, trying, forcing their way back into the, into the main, uh, the main road lane, driving lane actually. So it gets a little sketchy sometimes. Well, we got Houston on our left. Still a whole lot of nothing out here though. This is Interstate 45 we just crossed. And now we are in territory I haven't driven on at all. Alright, here we are at San Antonio. Obviously very cookie cutter exit again. Much like Tallahassee from I believe our last episode. That might have been where we ended last time was Tallahassee. Ooh, too fast, too fast. Alright, we hung on. But similar basically the same town and arrangement as Tallahassee so we'll have to forgive coast to coast for that just to get it really is just to get you some more places to go at this point and hopefully they will add more and more things to make it a little bit more real and dynamic I don't know what's going on with the graphics sometimes. I'm gonna have a crazy amount of trouble with that. That light is yellow. So I better not get a ticket. And we're gonna be dropping this off at Caterpillar. So I believe we this is machine parts from Tesla. Sort of strange that the Tesla the cars weren't coming from Tesla, it was coming from UPS. But it is what it is. Here in San Antonio, Texas. Really, it's just a very different driving experience than in Euro Truck Simulator, where in that one, it's a constant, you know, massaging the throttle, making sure you're not running over the cars in front of you or the trucks in front of you because there's just the different speeds. While in American Truck Simulator, it's just such it's such an interstate-based game, especially once you get in the coast-to-coast area. But America, the trucks are in the interstates. The interstates are these big, huge highways where there just isn't as much traffic, at least when you're in wide open areas. You get into the cities, of course there is, but in Euro Truck Simulator, it gets pretty backed up, even this, no matter where you are, it seems. All right, so we're gonna have to back around this orange shovel. So let's try to get straightened out here. Not run into the pole. 
Yeah, I want to give myself a little bit more straight. That's kind of weird. In Euro Truck Simulator, if you push up in that first position on the on the shifter, it puts you into like C or whatever that is, which I think is low, low, basically the equivalent in Euro Trucks. And then when you pull down in that second position on your throttle, it puts you into the reverse. While it's obviously the opposite in this game. All right, am I gonna have enough room to do this? Now, you have to remember, we don't have as tight of a radius or as short of a cab as in Euro Truck Simulator, so we got to be a little bit more careful about this, but don't... I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough room for this, but let's see. Uh, well, doing pretty good. Let's strain that out a little bit there. Get in there. All right. Now let's start. Yeah. Not where I wanted to be. Kind of got, kind of drifted a little bit. So far to the left, I don't want to be there. Kinda, I had it going to start and then I just screwed it up every time every time One of these days I will get it is wrong this is terrible I, I I I know I suck I suck I suck at it I really do <laughs> yeah see now I can't get it straight it won't straighten out oh man and I got my wipers on for some reason all right let's try this again doing wrong. Oh, just terrible. Come on. Every time, I know, this is, it's just the repeated refrains of a madman. Because I cannot, not for the life of me, get these things square in it. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Popping something in there too, and it's just oh, it's just incredibly frustrating how much work it takes to try to get this thing squared up. All right, well that took longer than I wanted to again, as usual, but we are here in 
San Antonio, dropping off these machine parts. Let's see what we got. Gulf Ports, San Antonio, 607 miles, 9 hours, 45 minutes, $694, and just a little bit of experience. Almost level 18. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to go find some place to rest. Until next time, I'm Martin Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. You guys take care, and happy trucking.